Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing the uh, end scale layout that I've recently been working on. Oh uh, yeah, the channel's OD Drill Road, but, you know, I uh, figured I might as well show all my model train stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you've been watching my channel, you've seen that I uh, recently acquired that, uh, that Santa Fe over there. End scale Cato Santa Fe. So, uh, I was like, you know what, what the heck, I've never done, you know, a real permanent, you know, tabletop layout, so I figured I might as well do one. So, uh, what I've got is, this is so far composed of two M1, uh, starter kits from Kato, and then a V2 siding kit, um, then I plan on getting more track. Um, I'm gonna show you the, uh, station, this is a Bachman station, uh, Sunnyvale. Plasticville, and uh, I did a little uh, using some of this foam material and cardboard. I created a platform. It's not glued down yet because I'm gonna put lights in it. And then uh, show you. I put these little steps here for the door because it's kind of high. This will be a parking lot. The road will continue over this track here. This area is going to be covered with trees, maybe some in between here, but mostly over here. Over here, maybe I'll do a farm team. I don't know yet. It might just be trees also. And then, uh, over here, where this gap is, there's one here. One there is going to be Kato 124mm automatic signals. And then over here, we're going to have a left switch. Um, you know, it's going to go... go this side over here, the, the actual um, curved side, and then the straight side will go this way. And then over here, there's going to be the right one, you know, then the curved side will go that way, and the straight side goes straight, obviously. And then over here, there's going to be a right switch. It's going to go over that way across the road, so there's going to be three crossings on this side. And then uh, I'll have another switch right at the end. And it's going to be, uh, that's going to be all the industries. So it'll be two tracks over there. I'm going to maybe make one of them look abandoned. Uh, so I'll work, uh, work on that once I get there. And then if we go over here, I'll show you. I will start with the, uh, transformer. This is, uh, this is hooked up to the, uh, outer loop. And then the, uh, two switches, which I ran the switch wires underneath the foam. Came out good. And then once I... Ballast will cover the ends there. Then this is the power. This one's the only one I have not ran through, but that's because I covered it, and I think it looks okay. I'm gonna touch it up with paint, and it on this edge, and it'll look good. And over here, this is the uh, inner. This is the inner uh, track power because, like I said, these are insulated switches. This is gonna be a DC only layout, so that's why it has the uh, two transformers powering different tracks. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, some of the plans are the inner loop is going to be for freight trains and the outer loop is going to be for passenger trains. However, I got the freight train on the outside because, uh, for test running. So, uh, there's probably going to be a freight station here, maybe. Um, and then the industries and stuff, like I said. The town will be back there. So, uh, and then, uh, yeah, once I, the next video I'm probably going to do is going to be either something OD related or I'm going to do, um, an unboxing video. Maybe an unboxing and setup of the Kato signal, and then, uh, I bought an extension cord for the one that goes over there. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.